this lecture is mainly for the higher secondary students and in this lecture i will show you how to synthesize benzene diazonium chloride and also i will give a series of reactions that are given by benzene diazonium chloride so the topic of this lecture is synthesis of benzene diazonium chloride and synthesis of uh, derivatives of benzene diazonium chloride for this we will start from benzene now in benzene we are giving mixed acid which is a mixture of concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 a moderate temperature is required and when these two strong acids are mixed hno3 acts as a base since it is a weaker acid compared to sulfuric acid now the oh group of the hno3 comes out after protonation and we have no2 plus which gives the electrophilic aromatic substitution on benzene and we have the product nitrobenzene now this nitrobenzene is boiled with tin and concentrated acl it is a powerful reducing agent and nitrobenzene gets reduced to aniline this aniline is treated with nitrous acid now nitrous acid being unstable is unavailable in market so we have to produce it in the reaction vessel we add to the solution nano2 and hcl and the reaction mixture is kept in a ice cold bath since the product obtained in this reaction is benzene diazonium chloride which is highly unstable and the only way to keep it stable is to keep the solution very cold now nano2 and hcl gives the reaction nano2 plus hcl arrow hno2 plus nacl that is the nitrous acid and it reacts with the amine group and it gives benzene diazonium chloride now how the name comes from azo means nitrogen so diazo and ion means this plus so it is a cation and finally the salt cl minus now these are the reactions that are given by benzene diazonium chloride i will tell you one by one firstly let us reduce this benzene diazonium chloride we apply zn and concentrated hcl zinc provides electron concentrated hcl provides h plus so collectively they give h which reduces this benzene diazonium chloride firstly to phenyl hydrogen this one and upon further reduction the compound gets reduced to aniline and if we apply benzene and nawh to benzene diazonium chloride we have biphenyl the by products obtained here are one h atom from this benzene to form the benzene ben phenyl phenyl sigma bond and this h and this cl gives hcl so hcl and nawh will react to give nacl and water and this nitrogen will come out in the form of gas dinitrogen gas so we have biphenyl now when this benzene diazonium chloride is boiled with water or heated with water it gives phenol here also we have h from water cl hcl and dinitrogen comes out now from this benzene diazonium chloride we have all the four haloaldenes if we give cucl hcl to the solution containing benzene diazonium chloride we have chlorobenzene if we apply ki potassium iodide we have iodobenzene if we apply cubr hbr we have bromobenzene now for fluorobenzene first we have to give hbf4 when the benzene diazonium chloride salt gets converted to benzene diazonium fluoroborate which when heated bf3 comes out dinitrogen comes out and one fluorine left and it gives 
fluorobenzene. So all the four haloadenes can be obtained from this single compound. Now another reaction, if we apply CuCN KCN, then we have cyanobenzene. There are other names for this compound, benzonitrile, phenyl cyanide. Now after giving HBF4, we have benzene diazonium fluoroborate. If we heat this with copper dust and sodium nitrite, nitrite, then we have nitrobenzene. And if we treat this benzene diazonium chloride with H3PO2, H2O or ethanol, then we have we will have benzene. Now come the coupling reaction. This molecule also behaves as an electrophile. However, it is weak due to this resonance with the adjacent nitrogen atom. Now we take beta naphthol. This one is naphthalene and if we have OH here at the beta position, at the position number 2, then it will be beta naphthol and we are making it alkaline, applying NaOH. So we will have O minus Na plus. So it is alkaline beta naphthol. Now we are doing this to make the ring active due to plus R effect of this O minus. Since the electrophile is weak, the coupling will not occur or will occur poorly if we do not activate it by making it alkaline. Now we also need the cold condition here. Now when these two reagents are coupled, we have the substitution at the alpha position. So this N comes here, bond N, double bond N, then double bond N, then the phenyl ring. It forms the azo dye. Why azo dye? Beta naphthol is colorless. Benzene diazonium chloride is colorless. But when they combine, they give the sufficient space to the electron to form a particle in a box so that the energy gap corresponds to the VGO, the visible light. We will show it recently. Uh, in the upcoming videos that how color uh, comes, how visible color comes in some compounds. And this color comes due to the linkage with the nitrogen atom, linkage through the nitrogen atom. So it is azo dye. Also if we take the alkaline alpha naphthol, that is the phenolic which is at the alpha position, then the substitution occurs at the para position that is at the position number 4 